Good Sunday morning to you. This is Rusty78609 in Burnett, Texas at Rogers Motors and RV Sales. You can go to their website at rogersmotorsales.com and find out about these RVs that I'm going to show you. But this is just going to be a quick overview of several different units. And if I can find the price on the unit, I'll give it to you. I'll get that. But I just mainly want to show you the product and give you the name of it and then you can do the rest of the research on your own because you'll be able to tell by looking at it like this little guy right here you can tell that you could tow that with a pretty small vehicle right i don't know how much it weighs or anything like that it's called a sunray classic 109 okay and it's got a little kitchen area in the back here this door lifts out we're going to go over these pretty quick because there's a whole lot of them here the one next to it here with that camouflage color is called a Sunray by Sunset Trailers. You can go to sunsettrailers.com. Uh, it's got the heavy duty tires and all the stuff. It's just a regular RV. I mean, it's got a little window type AC and there's the drain deals for the hookups. And what else? Then we've got a, here we go. This is one that was really popular. This is called a Sunray Classic. Again, you, it's called a yeah, Sunray Classic. You can go to sunsettrailers.com and check this one out. Again, it's relatively small, and a lot of these I'm going to show you are going to be smaller ones. Why? Because people are interested in them. Uh, there's the information that, uh, that you need to go and check it out and find out more about it. And here's an R-Pod. These are very popular. This is on consignment here. This is an R-Pod by Forest River. Got a slide out. And notice it has the wheels on the outside. Most RVs are up under and uh, that just gives it a little more stability when you're towing it down the highway but it also gives you a little less space on the inside because it's narrower and let's see what else we've got so we've got our pod see what i mean there's several different ones now these little tanks here for you new guys you guys new to RVing, these small tanks like that those are five gallon or what are called 20 pound tanks and as far as how long they'll last you depends on how much you use them and this is a big one here this is a black ridge i did this one the other day and we'll just go on around and I'll try to get to as many as I can. Here's one here that's been very popular. It's called a Little Guy Mini Max. That's this one right here. And it's fairly pricey. Those little, uh, little guys are pretty pricey. Uh, we'll go around and let you look at the back of it. They're supposedly pretty well built. I don't know. I've never owned one. Looks like you could tow that with pretty much anything. Half ton pickup for sure. And then here is the website you need to go to for all the specs go liberty outdoors.com okay now we're just going to go through a bunch of these why because if you're just beginning your search for an rv first of all you want to know what's out there you know without having to go to 50 dealerships this guy just happens to have a lot of these smaller units again that's the mini max and we'll go over here. Here's another one of the camo units that we just looked at. And then here's another Mini Max. He's got a lot of those. Here's some more of the Sunray Classic. They're very popular. I'll show you another one that's really popular too. <clears throat> this one right here, the Sunlight Classic, because it has a, a rear entry door. It's got a very unique layout. I did a video of it. You could search my videos and probably find it but the easiest thing to do would be to go to sunsettrailers.com it's a 16 bh i'm sure all these are locked yeah all these are locked up because it's sunday okay but anyway this is uh again sunlight classic it's a nice looking unit and it's got a really unique layout because of that rear entry and then we'll go over here and here's some uh there's a, a this little guy travel trailer this again is a, these are mini max the teardrop shape is what they call that. This one just happens to have some heavy duty tires and so forth on it. And they all, they're all a little different. You know, they have different features and so forth. And then these are the smaller uh, new camps. Uh, th these you can go to, let me get up here where you can read the website, www.newcampnucamprv.com and check it out. But this right here, these, this this door opens up and inside is your kitchen your cooking area it'll have a little refrigerator and a little cooktop it's got an entry door on each side it's really really small it's basically you're towing a bed down the highway with a kitchen in the back 
all right this is called a boondock light model and uh, those little blinds right there you just take your hand and put it on and turn them to open them and turn them to close them and it's got your battery and stuff there in the front all these windows open now it's got a lot of ventilation i've been inside them several times he's got a lot of these a lot and but anyway the good thing about these is they have a door on each side okay so that allows you not only entry from either side but also ventilation also they have the little mat uh, i think it's a fantastic vent fan on the roof i think <coughs> this one just happens to have the added feature looks like i guess that might be an awning up there but he's got a lot of these new camp tags and you can find out more about them at www.newcamprv.com that's where you'll find the specs does he have a lot of these this is a tab 320 very popular model uh, this is the boondock edge edition right here the teardrop shape he's got about a lot of them i mean you can see the whole row of them right here and then on these sunlight classics over here he's got a lot of those too you can see that he's got the red and the white the blue and the white and we'll go on up here he's got a you know i think most of these now are 2019 models he may have a few 2018s and we've got a tab up here this will be the probably the most expensive unit around is that red and gray one right straight ahead or red and silver whatever you want to call it but it, it, it's the teardrop oh, and i'm right near a major highway so you're going to hear a lot of you know noise and every time i come here for some reason there's sirens and stuff but anyway i, I can let you see in the back here you might be able to see a little bit of the what the inside looks like Th these are very unique okay uh, I mean, they, they are. This is a TAB, T-A-B. And this is their top of the line model right here. I believe this is a 400. Uh, yeah, it's called a Boondock Light. I'll get up here and let you see if you look in the window here and see uh, any of it. But yeah, it's a, it's, got, it's a full RV. I mean, it's got a lot of stuff. But you can go to their website. Again, this is a new camp model it's got these composite panels on the outside called adsel and uh, also it has a, a heating technology called alde which is supposed to be pretty unique but again this is a 400 model if you go to their website and check them out uh, you will uh, look for the 400 model you're going to find out it's pretty pricey i mean you're looking um, in the thirty thousand dollar range probably for this boondock light model and we'll go on around here. Here's some more. Uh, this is again, we've looked at this guy right here. And here's some more boondock. Here's one all white. That's, that's the first time I've seen one that's all white. This is a small one. This is a boondock edge. I think that's a 320 model. And uh, see, the, but you go to, this is a tab. There's the, there's the website, newcamprv.com. Yeah, this is a 320, I believe. Yeah, it's a 320, tab 320. Yeah, they're pretty nice. And uh, you know, this, this teardrop shape uh, gives you standing room there if you're over six feet, because I've been in these a lot of times. I'm six feet one, a little over six feet one. And anyway, there's a boondock edge, a small one. Don't you love that? I've never been here that I didn't hear a siren, never. Uh, what else? Uh, here we have one here. This is a smaller model. You can see how small it is. That is a silver shadow. And I'm going to give you some prices too in just a second. You're probably going to be shocked. But once I get around it, but again, this is, the, this is called a silver shadow. Uh, it doesn't show their website anywhere. But it's basically a bed. And, and then you've got your kitchen area in the back. This, this door, these, you turn those handles and that door lifts up. Got the heavy duty tires, but you could tow that with just about anything. Uh, let me go over here. Now they've got, he's got some of these Sunray Classics, the small ones. And this is called a Sunray Classic 109. Uh, as you can see, it's very small. It's probably 10 feet long. I'm gonna guess the, the, the physical unit, not including the, the hitch. I, I won't step it off here. Let's see, we got one, two, yeah three steps so it's it's approximately nine to ten feet total length it, now this thing's going to probably have the kitchen area in the back and you may have some amenities in the front it also has a little window ac 
But he's got several of these smaller units here you can see. But now we'll go over here for the news you want, and that's how much are they, all right? You're gonna love this guy. Uh, he, doesn't ha I don't ha he doesn't have the prices on all of them posted, but he's got the prices on some of them. And I'll, see, I'll give you a sampling. This one right here is a 320. Uh, well, no, that's a Boondock Edge. Let's see if we can find a price on these. Uh, here's one right here. Here's the 2019 Tab 400. Da 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 da. 29,000. Okay. The total dry weight is 2,690 pounds. Okay. Then we look at these, the Sunset Park and uh, Sunray, the little bitty one, the 10 footer, 10,500, the one we just looked at. Uh, let's go over here. Let's see what else we got. Uh, here's a 320 tab New Camp 320. They're 21,900, and the little tag, the small one, where, you know, like the bed, you know, with the cooking area in the back, a 13,900. And here's a 2015 uh, little guy tag max. Apparently, it's a trade-in. It's 9,900. Uh, what else? We here's the uh, R Pod for those of you. This is a 2016 R Pod, the one we looked at over there on the side. 14,900 uh, and what else we got here this is the uh, silver shadow 2017 little guy it's 10,900 so but the one that uh, that we looked at that is the, the top of the line for the teardrops is the the tab 400 and it really is unique I, I've been inside of it it's uh, it's really nice 29,000 for that dog though. but anyway so anyway I'll walk around here and finish this up as we walk around the vehicle uh, here's that sunlight again with the rear entry. Uh, it's a 16 BH, means it's about 16 feet long. And this one has an awning, got outside speakers and all that stuff. But again, that's from sunsettrailers.com. Sunsettrailers.com. And let me get around here and we'll just walk out and I'll let you kind of look at them. Because, you know, for if you're just starting, if you're just starting your search, uh, you know, it, it helps to see all these units because otherwise you may not even know they're available. I mean, there's just so many. You know, this this first one right here. This is a tab. This is a 400 New Camp. This one right here. This one over here will be a 320. And then we got all the Sunlight Classics over here. I want to show you something else. This has nothing to do with RVing, but the owner has a Tesla. <laughs> you ever seen a Tesla up close? Oh, they're cool, man. I mean, this is a really a good looking car. I don't know what year this is. I think it's probably two years old. I mean, not that that means anything, but is that a good looking car? Yeah, it is. And it's got all the stuff, you know, whenever you close the doors, the mirrors kind of fold in a little bit. And uh, yeah, it's really nice. See how the door handles are? It would take me, they'd have to, I'd have to have somebody show me how to get in and out of it. But no, it's really beautiful. It's got the real dark tint on the windows and that's a beautiful roof line there. I mean, I love that. It's really, a, the te Tesla makes a beautiful car. Now that thing there, when it was new, that was a, I'm gonna guess 80,000 in that range. You know, they may be selling it now. Anyway, but anyway, we'll move on around here. I say anyway, 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 a lot, but let me, let me walk back. Anyway, I'm gonna walk back to the truck. And here is SAS Specialized Auto Services. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he's gonna haul off an RV, huh? Or probably fixing to haul my car off. Uh, what else can I tell you guys? This is Disney World for you guys that like small RVs. And again, we're at Rogers Motors in Burnett, Texas. And you can go to Rogers Motors, I think, dot com on the internet and see his inventory and prices and so forth with the specs. And that's all. That's all I wanted to tell you. So let me get through this maze and I'll end the video. Yeah, that's a 149 Sunray Sport right in front of us all in. We'll look at it. Anyway, guys, thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye from Central Texas, USA. Buy anything you want. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because I get a small commission. It doesn't cost you one penny. Uh, what else? Drink plenty of water. Stretch. Keep your health. Because without your health, you're not going to go want to go camping. So... Uh, anyway, enjoy your life one day at a time. Stand guard at the door of your mind. Think positive and good stuff, okay? That's a nice looking little unit, that Sunray Classic. That's what they, that, that's a model number 149. Anyway, thumbs up guys. Adios. Bye-bye.